I've got you blow bubble. It works for you. <laughs> How about mommy gets a kiss goodbye? Well, I have to get her ready for the bus, sweetie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's nice. What? Her uh, butterfly on her flower. Yeah. That's real nice. Helen's a wonderful girl. You know, I couldn't go through what she goes through, but um, for everything that she deals with, she's she's just a sweetheart. She's always got a smile for you. She's a typical six-year-old in that uh, she'll bounce back and forth between items. Today she likes SpongeBob. Tomorrow she hates SpongeBob. I like playing my DS first of all. That was an early birthday present. What color do you want, baby? Essentially, her skin falls off. Uh, they're often referred to as butterfly children. Their skin is as sensitive as a butterfly's wings. Fallon's frequently in agony, especially during most of the bandage changes. On an average day, she probably spends like three, four hours getting dressing changes. Frequently, her mouth hurts too much to even eat ice cream. Uh, her nutrition is taken care of through a gastronomy tube, and that's uh, she gets a liquid diet of a commercially prepared food. Are you hungry this morning? Uh, her feet blister as severely as the rest of her body, and it is typically very painful for her to walk. I hope for a brighter future for uh, proceeding with the bone marrow transplant. It offers great hope. It will be a change in the way her body uh, anchors her skin, um, and it will offer a more normal life for her and hope for others as well. I'm going to be donating my bone marrow to Fallon because I'm a perfect match. Jen's very brave. It, it takes a special person. Is it scary for her as well? What do you think about your sister donating her bone marrow for you? That's great. Why? Because I, I want to get rid of this. Do. Yes, it's just pain in the butt. The only uh, place with the protocol is the University of Minnesota conducting the, the current clinical trial. So it is uh, necessary for us to move to Minnesota for the duration of the trial, uh, the transplant itself. Um, they say to expect a minimum of three months, possibly six months or more. Do you want this brush today or do you want the big black brush? It's a huge financial burden and uh, an emotional burden uh, to sit there and see your child suffer through it, and sometimes you can't handle that. I hope that after the transplant, my pound's all better. I hope that we can like go swimming together and eat pizza and play games and have pillow fights. What's the one thing you can't do now that you'd like to do? Sleep with my mama. She said that when she gets cured, the first thing she wants to do is snuggy with the mom. <laughs> is that something we really can't do? Because she's attached, you know, hooked up to a machine at night. Plus, just if you would bump her or anything, it's something we can't do. Uh, long term, she's still going to need uh, surgeries for reconstruction. Her hands, again, are starting to mitten. Uh, so there'll be some reconstructive surgeries taking place and a lot of therapy down the road. Um, It'll be a long road to haul, but it will be a positive road that we'll be on. Uh, it leaves us a lot to look forward to and a brighter future. Oh, great, the school bus. Fallon has a wonderful spirit. Uh, it's hard to believe she suffers as, as she does. Uh, she's always bright, uh, playful. Um, she'll challenge you. You know what, I have prayed for this for so long that, you know, that she would, die. a year ago we didn't have any idea that they'd have a cure. She says she just can't wait till she gets rid of her disease. Yeah.